will now watch a video to demonstrate procedures for donning and doffing a Level C ensemble. Get all of the items together in a single location. Ensure the filters are screwed in to the respirators. Unpack the suit and then have the responder put the suit on up to their waist. Place shoe covers on and secure the suit to the shoes. Put on the respirator. Pull the suit hood over the person's head and secure. Put on one pair of nitrile gloves. And then place tape around the ankles and the wrists. Place on another pair of gloves. Place a spare piece of tape on the sleeve for rescue tape. When we work in the hot zone, we used hand signals to communicate with each other. If you are okay, please pat the top of your head or show two thumbs up. If your respirator is causing you problems or you're having difficulty breathing, please act like you're choking yourself. If you need to leave the area, use one hand and slide it across underneath your chin. Remember, if one person needs to go out, everyone must exit at the same time. The responder has just left the decontamination line. We will now doff the responder out of their personal protective equipment. This activity occurs at the edge of the cold and warm zones. Once finished, the person can then move to the cold area. Remove the tape from the wrists and ankles, as well as from around the mask if you've used tape at the mask. Starting from the top of the head, slowly remove the suit by rolling it inside out down the responder. Have the responder pull their arms from the suit, leaving the arms also inside out.
Roll the suit past the waist and down toward the feet. Ask the responder to sit in a chair. Continue then to remove the suit and the boots from the feet. The responder will then step into the cold zone, remove the mask from the face, and the last pair of nitrile gloves. The subject can now move into the cold zone. Once the responder has left the decontamination line and been doffed of their personal protective equipment, they can move into the cold zone for rest and recovery. It's important to rehydrate and get medical follow-up to ensure the person's blood pressure is not too high. They can also take a personal shower to cool down if necessary.